Father Frank Pavone, the National Director for Priests for Life, who joins us now. Father, thanks so much for taking the time this evening. Absolutely. Good to be with you. Good to see you. The Archbishop said he made numerous attempts to speak to Pelosi and has implied she did not respond. Do you think this was the right decision? Was it fair? Yes, it was very fair. In fact, it's a decision that numerous Catholics have been saying, when is this going to happen? Mm. And, and let's clarify this. This is not Archbishop Cordelione just acting on a whim or, or, or his own opinion. The bishops of the Catholic Church have taught consistently for a very long time, first of all, that there is only one Catholic position on abortion right. and that it's always wrong. Secondly, that public officials have a duty to protect the unborn. And third, that advocating abortion, which is what Pelosi does, not just agreeing with it, but making it more widespread, is inconsistent with receiving communion. And it's biblically based, right. because Scripture tells right. us if you want to love God, you have to love your neighbor. Well, there's a whole group of neighbors here, the children in the womb, that Pelosi is failing to protect, Biden is failing to protect. And by the way, this doesn't just apply to Catholics, any public official. Th th these public servants have to know the difference between serving the public and killing the public. They are allowing and promoting the killing of babies. So that's why it's a very right decision to clarify that sh this is inconsistent with communion. Well, look, Jen Psaki uh, made the point about Joe Biden, our president, by the way, that he was a quote unquote devout Catholic, as I recall. And, and yeah. that seems to not really fall well within, as you just pointed out, the tenets or teachings of the church itself. So why do you think Joe Biden's kind of been let off the hook uh, for years on this? Well, honestly, because we have weak leadership. Uh, we have weak and inconsistent leadership in the church. There are many bishops now whom uh, we've already seen speaking up in agreement with, with uh, what Archbishop Corleone did. There will be more in the coming days. And then there will be those who will say, oh, well, I'm not here to judge or I'm not here to punish. Well, this is not judgment and it's not punishment. Let's think of it this way. Uh, all, so many of us in the church, and not just the Catholic Church, again, all of us who are disciples of Christ, we make sacrifices every day to be faithful to the Lord Jesus. Some people have lost their jobs recently because they've been faithful. They don't want to violate their faith. So it's insulting to us when somebody prominent claims to be a follower of Christ or a devout Catholic, and then they can take certain key teachings of the church and just throw them out the window. Right. And then they, they will just want to continue to get political profit from, from saying they're Catholic. It's not right. So a lot of us are just uh, uh, upset about this. You hit on probably the most important point there, Father Frank, and that was weak leadership. Thank you yes. so much for joining us tonight. Really appreciate the time. You're welcome. God bless. God bless.